Hi friend, my name is Hunter and in today's video we'll take a look at modeling a wine bottle inside of Blender. And in the next couple tutorials, we'll look at UV unwrapping it, texturing it and shading it, lighting it, and of course rendering it out into a nice wine bottle render. Before we get started, I'd like to offer you a Blender shortcut cheat sheet. Now Blender has a lot of shortcuts that can be hard to learn when you're starting out. So I've created a shortcut cheat sheet, which will outline all the shortcuts for all the different modes like object mode, all the shortcuts for the outliner and animation and many more. And you can download that at the link in the description. And you can download that in the link in the description and you can either print it out or have it beside you and reference it to help you remember some of those shortcuts and help speed up your workflow inside Blender. All right, let's continue on with the tutorial. To start off the modeling process, we're going to get rid of the camera and the lights. And we'll start by resizing this cube here. So what I'm going to do is come to my scene properties, go down to units and go into my length and change it from meters to millimeters. And now what I can do is press N and with the cube selected, just click and drag those three across those three dimensions. And we'll put in 76 as our size and that'll resize our cube. Now up in the viewport overlays, I can change the scale of the grid to 0.1 and hit enter. So the grid scales a bit better for our document. Now what I can do is import a reference image. So what I'm going to do is here is go uh, shift A and we'll import down here image reference and we'll get, grab the location of that reference wine bottle image. It will import incredibly big. And so what I can do now is go Alt R to reset the rotation. And I'm going to go R, X, and then 90 to rotate on the X axis, 90 degrees. And we'll go one on a number pad and we'll scale this down so that it is just the size of the cube. Now we can delete the cube, X, delete, and we'll move this up so that it's on the bottom of the line. All right, so what we can do now is import a circle. And what we'll do is change the vertices of the circle down to 12. Then we can edit, edit mode and scale this down like so. And so now I can just place my reference in a better location. And when we're editing this shape here we want to go into edit mode and go and and we'll use E and Z to extrude and to shape this I'm going to enter either wireframe mode or x-ray mode I'm using x-ray mode and we can use E to extrude Z to lock it on the Z axis and S to scale now I'm going to scale this a little bit above the reference here so now what I can do is just continue on and we'll create the shape of the bottle. All right, for the top, we're just going to go E and S to extrude in and scale that extrusion like so until we get the bottle shape. All right, so now what I can do is hide my reference, tab out of edit mode, and what we'll do now is come out of X-ray mode using Alt-Z. We can right click and shade this smooth. And there's a few other things that we may need to do for this, like the base is still open. So we'll turn on our reference again and go into edit mode and we'll fix that. So we can Alt click that loop on the bottom, press one, on our number pad to look straight on and start extruding this uh, into the shape. So I might uh, scale this down a little bit and go something like that. And then we can extrude this up. So what I wanna do here is press F to fill that center. And now we can start insetting this pressing I and we'll insert it about once. We'll move it up to the location and then we'll insert it again a little bit. And this time we'll press M merge its center. Then I'll just merge that little point there in the center. 
So we only have one point at the bottom. All right, let's hide our reference again. And we can add a few things here. So right now you can see the edges of it are quite sharp. And so what we want to do here is add a subdivision. So go down to your modifiers, add subdivision, and you can see the bottle looks very smooth. So what we can do now is we'll up the viewport levels to two, tab into edit mode, hit one, and we need our reference for this. So we'll turn that back on and we'll just basically start editing this. So I'll add it in a loop cut by pressing control R. So if I press control R, hover over the center here, click and drag and bring it down. And we can add loop cuts into all sorts of areas here to get the bottle shape. And I can also scale this to bring out the bottle shape a bit better. So what we're gonna do, I'll click some of these, scale, And we can also move these loops up and down to make it a little bit better. We want to add some more loop cuts into here. So we can go control R, bring a loop cut up there, add one here. We want to add two here. So one on the edge of there, another one there. We'll bring one up there and we'll add one in the center there. And that should be good. Let's hide our reference once again, tab out and we've got our bottle shape. Let's add a modifier down to solidify. We'll drag this on top of the stack and go negative four mil. So that'll add our bottle thickness. Alt Z for the X-ray mode. And you can see in here that we've got over overlapping geometry inside here. So if we tab into edit mode, we can fix this. And so what I'll do now is we need to apply this solidify. Let's tab out and go the drop down, apply and tab back in. So now this is all geometry and I can alt click that loop there and alt shift click this loop down here, press X and delete the vertices. Now we have this hovering bit in here and I can L to click that and we can go X and delete vertices. I might delete this one as well. So we have the top. Delete vertices, there's some more stuff in there. Let's alt click this loop and alt shift click this loop here. And we'll go down to edge and we'll bridge the edge loop. So that creates something like this. Now I can go control R and add in a loop cut there. And we could also add in another loop cut there, but I think this is good for now. All right, so now what I need to do is actually create a cap for this or a cover. So we'll duplicate our bottle. Let's rename this and we'll go control D and hold down control to snap it to our grid. We'll go into edit mode. And what I want to do here is just grab this edge loop and I can press control and plus on my number pad till we get to the edge loop there. And then we can go select invert X and we go delete the vertices. And now we want to do some editing to this shape here. So what I'll do first is select this loop here. We'll go F, insert, and I'll insert it about twice and then hit M and merge at the center. I'll select these two loops here and go G, Z, and we'll just lift these up a little bit. Now we want to delete some edge loops in here. So I want to delete this one here. So we have to select that edge loop and go X and dissolve the edges. And this one up in here, X, dissolve edges. And now when I select these loops, I can just move them up. Select this one in there and move this one down. Lastly, we'll add another edge loop down to the bottom here to help the shape of the bottle. Now what I want to do is add a solidify modifier. So we'll come down here, solidify, and we'll go negative one, hit enter. And now we can move this back onto our bottle. So we can go G and control to snap it back into place. Let's edit this shape down here. Select these two, GZ, we'll bring them up 
so they don't come as far down. Lastly, we need to add the label. So what I can do is go to edit, preferences, add-ons, we'll go to image, search image, and we need this one here, import, export, image, import images as planes. So now what I'll do is bring in an image as a plane. So we'll go shift A and down to image, images as planes, click that. And we need to find our reference image. And this is by Kittle. So next thing I want to do is show my textures. So up in the viewport shading, we can go texture and then we can tab into edit mode and scale this down really a lot smaller. We can adjust the size a little bit later. Let's go control R and scroll up. And we want to add them vertically with the label. And then we can left click to apply that. And I'm adding about 50. I'm going to up this to 60. Now, what I can do now is add a curve circle and we'll scale this down a little bit and then select our label and add a modifier and under the form, we'll add a curve modifier. Eyedropper the Bezier and we'll go negative X. And what I can do now is select the curve, tab into edit mode and we want to come up to item and we want to rotate this by negative 180 to flip the label around. Now, if I select the label, right click and shade it smooth. Now, what I want to do is parent these two. So I'm going to shift click the label first and then shift click the circle and we'll go control P object. Select the circle. We can scale this or we'll move it up onto our bottle like so and we can find a location that we like we can also tab into edit mode and scale this down until it clips and then just hold shift and bring it back until all the labels visible another thing you may want to do is actually add a modify and add a solidify to this shape the only issue with a solidify in this case is my image is a PNG. So the solidify isn't going to work on a PNG. But if you have a shape that isn't a PNG or doesn't have any transparency in the image, you'd be fine with adding the solidify. All right, now we have our bottle all modeled. And in the next tutorial, we'll go over UV unwrapping this bottle and we'll unwrap this and we'll add some textures onto some of this bottle so that we can make it look a little bit more realistic and I'll show you how to do that. Also remember that we have that shortcut cheat sheet down in the description below which will help you out in some of these tutorials. It'll break down the shortcuts into categories like object mode, edit mode and you can reference it to have a look at what some of those shortcuts are. If you have any suggestions of videos you would like to see, make sure to comment down below and I'll have a look at your suggestions and possibly make a tutorial on them. All right, until next time, I'll see you later.